Artificial intelligence can be considered a field where machines are trained to do tasks which human beings typically do. So in the healthcare industry, AI is all over the place, right? If, including like, for example, your Fitbit device, which can track your uh, number of steps uh, or measure the amount of your sleep. It includes uh, heart rate monitors or blood pressure monitors. To understand how really an AI algorithm works, to train, say, an AI for TB or a coronavirus, uh, what you normally would start off is a bunch of medical images. You start off with one image, the algorithm starts with a random prediction. If you train an AI with a lot of images with, which has a ground truth which says TB, then yeah, the AI would soon learn to differentiate between the pattern of a TB and a pattern, right? As I said, AI is all about primarily pattern matching. So for Cure, for example, we have trained our AI algorithms over 7 million scans. So we started building this technology about three years ago. Over these years, we have now trained the algorithm to automatically interpret chest x-rays, identify whether an x-ray is normal or abnormal. If it is abnormal, it can detect about 20 different abnormalities and tell you where exactly the abnormality is on the chest x-ray. It can do all of these uh, within uh, less than a minute and it can do that on the cloud or on-premise um, on a very small server. Imagine an emergency room setting. A patient comes in with a symptom, some stroke. In this case, normally patients lose up to 30,000 blood cells per second. So every second is important. And normally in case of a stroke, you would probably want to identify and treat that patient within next 30 to 45 minutes. Definitely artificial intelligence is going to become more and more powerful and accurate. What we are doing right now is just probably the tip of the iceberg. Definitely know there are a lot of innovations which is happening. For example, there are artificial intelligence chatbots which can directly diagnose your disease based on symptoms. There are assistant to physicians. And what we are seeing right now in 2020 is probably just the tip of that thing. I, uh, I think with 2030, in 10 years, we definitely would see a lot of healthcare uh, needs that we have for which we need to travel to a physician or meet or go to a hospital. A lot of that should be taken care at home, which is what I think is a way forward.